Good day, everyone. I am going to share with you people my own life experience. That was indeed a hell for me. I'm not going to mention my name at all. Well, I'm just telling you my age and occupation. I'm 29 years and currently working as an accountant at a public sector organization based in New York. I got married to Jasmine last year. I saw her for the very first time at my friend's birthday party. After having a relationship of about two months, we got hit. There used to be four members in our house. Me, my wife, my stepfather and my younger stepsister. Initial days of our married life were really satisfying later. I came to know something that will definitely shock you. Who was the trickster, my wife or my stepdad? I got the red flag for the very first time and it was my wife's first birthday after our marriage. I remember the exact date was the 23rd of May 2022. And I reserved a private room at the hotel for us to make my wife stay memorable. I actually intended to give her birthday surprise differently. So instead of arranging the party, I opted for a private room decorated beautifully. But the way my wife reacted was really disappointing and upsetting. I remember it was about 11.30 a.m. that night when I took her in the car with me to the hotel room. On reaching the hotel room, my wife just gave me a fake smile and did not show any sense of gratitude. It was all clear that she was not happy with my idea. Maybe she was expecting something unique from me. When I asked her several times about my surprise, my wife literally yelled at me like she got irritated from my question and replied that she was tired and did not want to have fun in bed. At that time, she did not even cut the cake. I thought that was my bad. So the next day I took her to the shopping mall to buy her a gift of her choice. But still her mood was just okay. And I did not find any excitement on her face at that time, on reaching the house from the hotel and shopping mall. I was shocked to see our house decorated after seeing that decoration at home, my wife seemed really happy and excited. It was now crystal clear that my wife was more happy by my stepfather's ancestors' surprise. The same night, I was shocked to see my wife trying the beautiful necklace in front of the mirror. The books laying on the table seemed like I had seen it today, just in my stepfather's hand. That time, my wife was expecting that I was in the washroom because I remember when I asked her about that necklace which she was trying in front of the mirror, my wife became so confused in August that literally the necklace she was trying just slipped away from her hands. At the moment I hadn't ever seen her so confused before. She then told me that this gift was given by my stepfather. I really did not understand why he gave such an expensive gift to my wife. I have even asked my wife to return this gift back to my stepfather, but she did not listen and said giving the gift back is not a good idea at all. Well, I did not get on my nerves as giving gifts at a birthday party was a common thing. But one day when I reached the house early from my workplace, I was shocked to see. Well, I remember it was about 1 am of the noon. I was in the workplace where I got severe pain in my stomach. I was literally not able to stay in properly. So I took off from my workplace and decided to go to the house in order to take a rest. I was just about to call my wife that time in order to inform her about my condition. But then I thought that maybe my wife was worried about me so I teased her after taking my medicines from the pharmacy. When I reached the house, I was shocked to see my wife and stepfather laying on the same bed. It seemed like they were watching a movie because they were holding the popcorns as well. I remember they both were so close to each other as if they both were in a hugging position. When I entered the room. At first, they both shocked to find me at the house. At this time, my wife asked me for the lunch and then my stepfather asked me to join them in movie watching. The way they both showed moderate expression seemed like if there was nothing wrong to judge. Well, I did not say them anything and then slept the same night when it was about 3 a.m. of the night I got my eyes opened as I was feeling hungry. 
That time I woke up in order to take some snacks when I caught a side around and found that my wife was not in the bed. At that time, I thought that she may be in the washroom. But when I checked out the washroom, I did not find her anywhere. I left the room and then went to the kitchen in order to make a sandwich for myself. I did not even find my wife in the kitchen either. I literally got worried about her. I even checked out on the roof where she mainly used to go for a walk at night but did not find her. I was just about to go to my sister's room to see my wife. Meanwhile, I heard laughing sounds coming from my stepfather's room. I was damned sure that it was my wife's laughing. I remember I kept knocking the door for five minutes, but no one opened. After ten minutes, my stepfather opened the door. He seemed really tired and sleepy that time. He gazed at me with his bulging red eyes. And then asked me the reason for coming to his room. At this dark hour of night. I then asked him about my wife. I remembered the way he reacted was really so perplexing. He literally looked at me furiously and then asked me how he would know about my wife. I noticed that the window's curtain in his room seemed unfixed. I'm just 100% sure that the laughing noise was my wife's voice. My stepfather's window was a straight pathway to my room's gallery. You guys burst into laughter. After knowing that when I reached my room, I was shocked to see my wife on the bed sleeping peacefully. I got kind of afraid and then made my wife awake. When I asked her where she was, my wife looked at me with her sleepy eyes and then replied that why I was asking such a lame question from her at this hour of night, it seemed like they both were making fun of me. Later I realized everything. I was indeed a dumb and a silly person who always used to ignore those red flags. But one day something really unexpected and unbelievable happened. I remember it was about 10 a.m. in the morning. I was getting ready for my workplace when I realized that I got my belt lost. My wife was in the kitchen that time she was making breakfast for me. Well, I looked here and there but did not find my belt. I was even calling my wife to help me in searching for the belt, but she was all occupied in the kitchen. I caught a sight on my wife's cupboard which was unlocked. I remember her cupboard used to be locked most of the times, but this time, maybe she forgot to lock her cupboard. When I saw her cupboard in order to find my belt, I was shocked to see an expensive perfume inside. They were all branded and luxurious. I was just amazed and then went to the kitchen along with the boxes. When I asked my wife about that luxurious and expensive perfumes, I remember at first she was kind of confused later. She said that my stepfather had gifted her that gift on her success. When I asked her about the success, my wife replied that she won the giveaway held at Instagram. I know that she must be lying to me because the way she was given such lame and senseless answers was a matter to consider. I got furious on my stepfather. I really did not understand. What was his actual purpose of giving an expensive and luxurious gift to my wife? Yes, I must agree that he was a rich businessman and now had a lot of income streams. But it doesn't mean I should show these to my wife. I thought that he may be impressing my wife. I even noticed that my stepfather's tone was really soft towards my wife. Everything happening was really thoughtful and thought-provoking. Even one day, something really unexpected and unbelievable happened that compelled me to get into this matter. I remember it was about 9 a.m. in the morning when I was getting ready for my workplace. My wife was in the kitchen and was making breakfast for me. When I reached the kitchen to see my wife, I was literally shocked to see my wife and stepfather cuddling. I got offended and furiously yelled, what are you both doing? After listening to my words, I found both of them kind of confused. My stepfather then replied to me that he was appreciating my wife for making delicious pancakes. According to my wife, that hug was just his love language of appreciation. Is this a way to appreciate someone's wife? To be honest, I was getting mentally upset. 
Day by day, I often found plenty of chocolates, branded skincare products and other stuff in my wife's cupboard whenever I used to ask my wife about those gifts. Her answer was just the same as if she got these gifts from my stepfather. I remember she used to give me different reasons why my stepfather had given her that gift. My vice bonding got even stronger with my dad. When my sister shifted to the hostel, I remember even those days my stepfather stopped doing outside for any work. I was literally shocked to see my wife getting new Horton expensive Ling almost on a daily basis. Whenever I used to ask her who paid for the lingerie, my wife's answer was the same that she paid from her savings. What savings like? Seriously, I never intended to investigate this matter. But one day when I reached the house early from my workplace, I was shocked to see my wife and my stepfather sitting together on the sofa. They both were so close to each other. Like if they were hugging, I remember my wife was holding the box as well. It seemed my stepfather had again gifted her something because I remember she was showing him her sense of gratitude. My stepfather just about to kiss my wife. When he caught sight of me. I remember he attended and gave my wife a gesture to look behind. I remember when my wife looked back at me, she became like a fish out of water and then began to give me an explanation that my stepfather had gifted me this mug as he left the coffee she made for my stepfather. Yesterday, things are getting really complicated day by day. The way my stepfather used to give expensive gifts to my wife almost on a regular basis was indeed a thought-provoking thing. That day, I was so occupied with such thoughts that I wasn't even able to work properly. I decided to fix the camera inside my house and secretly one day cunningly, I sent my wife and stepfather to the wedding ceremony and succeeded in fixing the cameras. I was really very nervous that time. Unfortunately, my stepfather went to one of his business partners for a sleepover. I remember even the same night when I was sleeping peacefully, I found my wife restless on the bed. I remember she was on the video call where she was sharing maybe private parts to the person on call. Because I remember when I got my eyes open, my wife was naked at that time and was screaming and she found me awake. She began to give me an explanation that she was just checking out the pimples she got on her chest. Well, I ignored and slept the next morning. When I went on to my office, I started the recording but did not find anything. As at that time, my stepfather was at his friend's house later at around 4 p.m. I was shocked to see my wife seducing my stepfather. When I heard the conversation, I realized that it was my wife's fault who was compelling him to give her gifts in exchange for a physical relationship. I got furious and hardly went to the house with the recordings. I showed them everything and literally slapped my wife harshly. At first, she was denying the fact. Later she confessed everything. She said that she got married to me because she stole me for the first time in a luxury car. My wife said that she used to think that I was rich. Later, she realized that everything belonged to my stepfather. She tried her best to fix him, but all in vain. One day, she made a video of my stepfather on the bed with my younger sister where he was forcing her to get physical with him. At first, my stepfather used to give her gifts because of her blackmailing. Later he fell in love with her. I humiliated both of them. I divorced her at the moment and cut off every relationship with my stepfather. I was really very depressed for my younger sister. I compiled a rape case for my younger sister against my stepfather. Now living a peaceful life with my sister. Yesterday I came to know that my stepfather had kicked out my wife and now she is begging for food.